We're continuing to track Tropical Storm Isaias. We have the 11 p.m. update from the National Hurricane Center, and it still has winds of about 70 miles per hour. It's moving to the northwest uh, at about 9 miles per hour, and we're going to continue with that trend as we go overnight and into tomorrow morning before the storm does make a turn to the northeast. And uh, these are the cloud tops that we're seeing here, which makes it look a whole lot more impressive than it actually is. When you look at the radar, it's actually a very lopsided system and is not as impressive as these as these clouds uh, might appear to be. But nonetheless, here's the forecast as we head into tomorrow evening. Uh, the storm just off of Charleston's coast. So uh, that is with winds of about 70 miles per hour. So a strong tropical system uh, to be a hurricane. You need winds of about 74, 75 miles per hour. So that the meaning or the labels that we put on the storm does not really change the impacts. There's going to be strong winds along the coast, no matter if it's a strong tropical storm or a weak hurricane as it makes its way on land. We're expecting and landfall anywhere between Charleston and Wilmington, North Carolina sometime uh, between Monday night and early Tuesday morning, thinking between midnight and maybe 4 a.m. Tuesday morning. And then the storm speeds on out of here over to the northeast, and it actually uh, pushes through Washington, Philadelphia, up to Boston, even up into Canada with winds still near 40 miles per hour Wednesday morning. But that thing is going to move very quickly. And there's a couple of key players here with this setup. We've had high pressure off the coast. That's what's making it move to the northwest. But you'll see here we have these two cold fronts off to the northwest of our area, and those cold fronts are actually going to push the system away from us, which is why it's going to make that turn to the northeast and why it's going to accelerate so fast. So here's the storm Monday morning. We're starting off cloudy, but mostly dry. Those storm chances increasing throughout the day. One, because of the tropical storm. Two, because we have these cold fronts moving towards our area combined with all that tropical moisture in our air leads to those showers and thunderstorms. So the storm's going to continue to push up. We'll see that increase in coverage into our afternoon. As we head into Tuesday, the storm will get scooped up by that front and it's going to get out of here. We're still left with that tropical air though in our area. This cold front not really bringing much relief but potentially that chance for an isolated storm even Tuesday afternoon. In terms of the severe weather threat for your Monday, the Midlands generally are under a non-severe risk from the Storm Prediction Center. The very eastern edge of our counties are under a marginal risk, but there's a slight risk down along the coast for that potential for a spin up closer to the center of the storm. Uh, for us, though, I do think we do stay mostly non-severe. There's also a marginal risk up for the upstate because of that cold front. So there's two systems that we're really working with uh, here. Rainfall totals. We are talking anywhere between a third of an inch to maybe about an inch of rain here across the Midlands. Uh, closer to the coast, we're talking a little bit more than that. And then the chance for 40 mile per hour winds is really going to be greatest along uh, the eastern portions of our area, about a 20% chance of seeing that over in Manning. So our impacts really is going to be the rain and the wind. Uh, severe weather not super likely when it comes to our weather here in the Midlands. I want to give you a quick look at your seven day forecast. 85 your high tomorrow, so it's going to be relatively mild because of that cloud cover, bumping it back up to the 90s for the rest of the week with those daily chances for some thunderstorms.